I'm now going to mark out this piece of metal which is 10 millimeter thick stainless steel. You're going to need a few tools to mark it out. You're going to need an engineer's square, a ruler, a scriber and a centre punch. We're also going to colour the surface of the metal to make it easier to see the scribe lines. To do that you would use something called engineer's blue which is an ink which is actually designed to colour the metal. If you don't have any engineer's blue you can use a permanent marker like this one and you can simply colour in the metal like so. Once you've done that you can easily scribe a line on there and you can see it very clearly. I'm now just going to dab some engineer's blue onto this piece of metal. Now that it's coloured with the engineer's blue, it is a lot easier seeing any scribe lines. We're going to be marking out this piece of metal and obviously this has got two straight sides from when the metal was actually manufactured. You always need to mark out from a straight side. For example if you look at the end there, that end has been cut and it's been cut very badly so that is probably not square. So you could not mark out from that edge. You always need a good edge such as this edge or this edge to mark out from because they are completely flat and completely straight. So to start off with we're going to get the engineer square and we're going to scribe a straight line on this piece of metal. So we need to get the square and it's absolutely critical that you get the actual edge there on the square straight up against a piece of metal. You don't want it on an angle like so, it's got to be touching all the way along. We're now going to scribe a straight line across this piece of metal. To do that we're going to be using this scriber. When you use a scriber you don't hold it straight up like that, you need to make sure that the point of it goes straight in to the bit that you are marking. So you get the point very exact, so you get a very exact scribe line. So I'm going to press down on that now and apply some pressure and I'm going to pull that towards me. If you take a look at that you can see that we've got a very clear line that we can follow. If you were doing this in a professional workshop you would probably have a marking out table and also a vernier height gauge. When you're doing this at home you have to make do with a rule and a square and a scriber. So we can now take a measurement from that line and in this case we want to mark it at 40 mil. So if we just put a small mark on there at 40mm and then we take the square again and we line that up exactly with the mark that we've just made. We can then do a second scribe line. Again I'm using the scriber and I'm holding it on an angle and I'm now just going to scribe across there. So now we have our second scribed line. We're now going to mark the centre of the piece of the metal that way. So we know that both of these lines are completely parallel to each other. So we can simply measure halfway, which is 37 millimetres. So I could put a small mark there and then do the same on the other line, just there. Obviously, if you're in America, you'd be doing this in imperial sizes which is a lot more difficult. Now we've done that we can now scribe the line in between those two marks. And you should be able to see it quite clearly because of the marking out fluid that we've used. So I'm now going to put a mark on the 20mm. And I can use a square for this. Just going to put a small line across there and where those two lines intersect we're going to centre punch. Before we centre punch that mark we're going to put a pair of safety glasses on. When you do this it's important that the work that you're centre punching is on something solid and where that is positioned right now on the bench is exactly where the leg is so it is incredibly solid at that point. 
So I'm going to take the centre punch and I'm going to get it so that the point is exactly in the centre of where those two lines intersect and I'm just going to give it a gentle tap and then I'm going to check it and you check it to make sure it's in the exact right position if it's not you can redo it once you're confident it's in the correct position you can put the centre punch back in there and then you can give it an annoyed smack and now if you look at that we have a centre punch mark that will be very easy to follow with the drill basically that is how you mark out a piece of metal I've just scribed a line on the piece that we covered with the permanent marker and you can see the line is scribed on there very clearly so by colouring in the metal using engineer's marking fluid or a permanent marker you can see the marking outlines very clearly